Okay, if you notice on this pivot table, uh, I don't have anything up here in the page fields and the, the report field over here in this section is the same as the page fields. Now, you don't need to have anything there. But what it's for is to show your overall grouping, your larger overall grouping at your company. Maybe in your, your company, the larger grouping is, is by state or by region or by district or by salesperson or by product line or even if your, uh, your, um, your company is large enough, maybe by country. Uh, so, you know, think about your larger overall grouping in your company, and that's what you'd use for the report field, so, or, you know, what we call the page field. I'm going to use the office in my example. I'm going to pick up the office and drag it into the report uh, field over here. So notice how in A1 it now says office and we have a pull down. Let me show you some of the advantages of using this. Right now, it's showing all of the office's transactions, but when I click on this pull down next to office, let's say I just wanted the ones for Brooklyn Center. So I click on OK, and now you have a much smaller report because this is only the transactions from Brooklyn Center. Let's try another one. Let's try uh, Bloomington. I'll click on OK, and notice how we have a different result. These are only the transactions from Bloomington. So this gives us another way to filter our report out. And like I said, you use your larger overall fields, uh, your larger, larger overall grouping to be your, your report heading. Now, in this version, we can even do multiple items. So I'll pick on multiple items. Now it shows up more like a filter. So let's do Bloomington, Brooklyn Center, Duluth, and Adena. When I click on OK, now we're showing the transactions for all four of those. All right, so you can really mix and match these really nicely. If I wanted to show all, once again, I'll pick on all, as we can see. Now, um, so what we did was we moved a field over here into the report area, and that gives you this additional breakdown into your report. Uh, you are able to have more than one field into the report area. Uh, there's other videos that talk about how to do multiple fields, and that would work here as well. But let me show you a huge benefit that you have when you use the report field. Uh, of course, I can pick each one of those individually and show the individual reports. Okay, uh, I, can, I can pick each one individually, but in order to get those numbers, I really do have to pick them individually if I want to get those, those breakdowns. Let me show you how you can get all of those sheets to appear at the same time. In order to do this next one, you have to have uh, something in the report field over here or in the previous version it was called the page field which will be on the first row. When you have that you're going to click on the pivot table you're going to pick on the options. You're going to come way over here and click on the pull down next to the word options and then you're going to say show report filter pages. Now when you do that you really can't change anything it's just showing the, uh, the report filter that you already have which in our case is the office field. Now, before I click on OK, look at the bottom of the screen. I only have the data uh, sheet and the pivot table sheet. But watch, when I click on OK, now we have a different sheet for all of those different offices. And now you have those breakdowns all together like that. That's going to be a huge time saver. You really need to watch this video again to see what just happened there. Um, uh, because now I have all these individual sheets and all these brand new reports. I mean, that, that is so powerful. So what I really did there was I picked on options, picked on the pull the next to the word options, and then show report filter pages. I'm not going to do it again because I would have duplicates, but all I really did the first time was I picked on OK. And then you have all these additional sheets that shows the breakdown by office. Pretty powerful stuff uh, when we add that report filter into our uh, pivot table.